Okay, uh, we were going to continue doing these last night, but we got tired, and what's cool about that is I'm retired, and I can do it any damn time I want to. got all day and all night, but uh, we started back up this morning, and we got uh, these three in, and uh, believe it or not, it takes me about 20 minutes to do just one set of cables, because i got to uh, get the cables, strip them heat shrink them put the tabs on them and uh, put the uh, little clips on and then clip them onto the battery and tie them down to the battery so they don't move so it takes a little bit of time so we've done three and we're taking a little break and we're gonna put the uh, fourth six volt battery in there and like I said those two up there are for the wind chargers but I haven't got the controllers in yet um, I got two controllers in uh, that I thought I could use for the wind chargers, but when I started reading the directions um, The max voltage they can take is 50 volts um, Both the wind chargers will put out upwards of 60 to 65 volts, so they would have fried those controllers So I sold John my neighbor the two controllers and uh, He can use them for his solar panels. He's got some He's got controllers on it right now, but they're just uh, little red and green lights. So, uh, so the controllers I sold him have actually got the uh, LCDs on them. They got the same like readouts that these do, so they're much better. So I'm in the process of trying to find uh, a couple controllers that um, will work, that will take more than the voltage. And I haven't found a whole lot yet, but we'll, uh, I'm sure we'll come up with something. Uh, just spending a bunch of time on eBay trying to look for the stuff. So. That's it, but that's what we've done so far today, and we're going to hook up the rest of them today. So, that's it for this video, but it's really cool. Say goodnight, Mel. Goodnight.